I've really benefited from seeing how my thinking is feeding my emotion. This is really fundamental to transformation, to seeing in every moment how this thought is contributing to this em emotion. Sometimes a thought can, can feed different emotions, but uh, when you get good at recognizing, ah, you think this, you think that, that's leading to sadness, that's leading to anger. And it, um, the more refined and more mindful you, I find that I become of my emotions, I can see that thought leading to sadness very quickly. <laughs> and so I don't continue to feed that thought. I learn to come back to my breathing, come back to my stuff. It's like, a, I think I shared before, but I, if you use uh, the image of an acorn, when the acorn puts out its root and its first little uh, leaves, if I come along with my foot and I just gently kick that acorn aside, that it won't have a chance to manifest into an oak tree. It will lose the opportunity. Or I pick it up and I put it in a plastic cup. So with very little effort, I can arrest the development of the oak, the acorn into an oak tree. But if I come to a full grown oak tree, which has been there for 30 years, it's very difficult for me to, <laughs> to stop the growth of that oak tree. I cannot just uh, push it over or, <laughs> you know, kick it out of the way. You know, it's solid, it's there. So the same is true of our emotions. When we see it in its seed form, our anger, it's very, it's very easy to be mindful of it and to change our thought. But once anger has grown into a big oak tree <laughs> in our mind, in relationship to somebody who causes us, we, we believe is causing us difficulty, uh, a family member, it's the oak tree of our anger is huge and it's really difficult to <laughs> remove it. So we have to practice first a lot of mindful breathing, mindful walking. Maybe we need to come to the monastery. Many lay friends I heard are signed up to join us for the three month rains retreat here at Deer Park. I think we start on October 17th and I heard maybe 14 or 15 friends are coming to stay, they intend to stay for the whole winter retreat. And it made me very happy to hear that because that means you recognize there's some kind of oak tree <laughs> going on <laughs> and I need to really be, take the bath of the big Sangha and every day be nourishing good seeds like joy and happiness and building stronger the seed of mindfulness in my consciousness so I can embrace and uh, unlike uh, the case with plants with our emotions we can re we can they can go the other way too they can become less and less that's why the Buddha also used the image of a fire when you remove the fuel from the fire the fire dies down and that is nirvana the, the cessation of the flames of our afflictions so learning to remove the fuel.